Today we have arguably the two biggest games of the season as we go into the Champions League knockout rounds against Chelsea. Face top of the table Real Madrid and because of that stupid Copa del Rey run have to do it in the games three and four of a four game in ten days run which is just, it's far from ideal. We, we've got injuries and stuff. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Club 6, part 34 of Non-League to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we are away against Chelsea in the first round, first first knockout round, first leg of the Champions League knockout rounds. There's probably a fancier way of saying that when they do it on the telly. Plus, we're away against Real Madrid in... It's a must-win game. Um, this is what's been happening since you were last week. We've only played a couple of games. We did manage to win them both. But games are coming thick and fast. And as much as I'm trying to rotate, injuries and fitness issues are accumulating. So the league table looks like this. We're two points behind... No, four points behind Real Madrid with two games in hand. A win against them would be absolutely massive and would put us back in the driving seat for the title race. The only problem is we're already struggling for fitness. If we have a look at our medical centre, um, we've got Jason Gould, who's currently injured. Um, we've got... Um, Ryback has... I mean, he's struggling massively for fitness... Um, and we've got a couple of other players who are on a high injury risk because they've been playing so many games recently. And this is the team that we're putting out there. And it's it's not ideal. I'd rather not be playing either Ryback or Gould, but it's a massive game. I don't know how good Chelsea are. We've been away from the Premier League for a long time. We've got to treat them as if they're going to be a typical overpowered English team who are going to be in with a chance of winning this entire tournament. So we're going as close to full strength as we can. In fact... Looking at that, that is completely full strength. Maybe you could argue Ben Cohen for Lorenzo sometimes, maybe. But Lorenzo's certainly been the form player this year, even if he's not the best attacking midfielder on star rating. He's the one who's earned his, uh, his starting space in the squad at the moment. So we're going with Zielinski in goal. A back four of a not fully fit Ryback. Does it say, is he on a limited 60 minutes we've got 60 minutes of Ryback um, Anand Silva and Gravosti making up the rest of the back four Ramos and Atz in midfield Korkmaz Lorenzo and Gould an injured Gould who what's up with him um, a bruised ankle I mean a bruised ankle he should be alright and then a very informed Perez up front Let's let's get in there. Let's let's get into the match and hope we don't mess it up. I was toying with doing the four three three and bringing Moreno back into the team, but we've not done that at all this season. I hope I don't regret abandoning that as a policy, but it didn't really work out for us in the Champions League last year in the end, did it, doing that? So I think we just need to try and outscore teams and be better than them. Um yeah, let's go. Let's go win the first leg. I mean, that's absolutely nothing has happened there, team talk wise. Chelsea doing a doing a very English four four two. There's probably very little chance of us recognising any of the players in this Chelsea team because it's what twenty thirty four now. So any real players are long gone, and the chances of any of the. I mean, we've been out of England for seven or eight years at this point, so we're probably not going to remember them from from back in our days when Chelsea were our local rivals when we were at Fulham. They've just gone 1-0 up through a stupendous free kick. That's far too far out to be scoring from. Zielinski's supposed to be one of the best keepers in the world. And, I don't know, you'd have to expect him to do a little bit better there, I think. And we've gone 1-0 down. As we always say in these first legs in the Champions League, we can't lose the, we can't win the tie today, but we can lose it if we mess things up. So let's not mess things up. But going into the second leg, 1-0 down, I could live with. 2-0 down would be more of a problem. Luckily, that free kick isn't as accurate as, isn't as, accurate as the first one. Uh, but if we can grab an away goal, if we can go, go back to our place at 1-1, that would be absolutely perfect. Right, let's aggressively say, show me something different. We have been poor in that first half. Not only have we conceded a goal, but we've not really shown anything attacking-wise ourselves. We haven't had an attacking highlight. We've dominated possession but done nothing at all with it. Only four shots in that first half, which is not like us at all. I want a severe performance in this second half. Lorenzo to Ryback. Back to Lorenzo again. Just score from there, sir. Oh, my word. He hits the inside of the post. It comes back off the keeper for a second there. I thought he was going to do exactly as instructed. But Chelsea get a little bit lucky. And then 
their attempt at counter-attack is snuffed out with an offside. Right, what have we got on our bench that can come on and change this game if needs be? We've got to take Ryback off now. He's done his 60 minutes, so Bruce is going to come on at left-back. Was that a risk worth taking with Real Madrid at the weekend? We probably should have saved Ryback. I don't know that I don't know that he's made that much of a difference to the outcome of this game. But I don't know. Do we play Bruce or Sanya against Real Madrid now? Probably probably Bruce. Right, I'm gonna bring on Garcia and stick Corkmaz up front. Corkmaz on the wing in the Liga seems to work fine. Perhaps we probably need a proper winger against real top teams like Chelsea, like Real Madrid. Perhaps we shouldn't be messing around playing Corkmaz out on the left wing when he's one of the best young strikers in the world. Uh, Kravosti isn't playing well, but we don't have a right back on the bench. We've got Abraham and Benko is probably the one who could potentially come on and grab a winner for us or an equaliser even. We can't win it today, but we can lose it. 1-0 is fine. I would have preferred an away goal. We might still get it, but... Being only 1-0 down is fine. We can overturn this in the second leg. I'm a little bit worried that we didn't put up much of a fight, but statistics-wise, I'm generally encouraged that I think we probably are the better team. They've hit us with a free kick and then defended a lot. So, fingers crossed, the Champions League dream is still alive. But now we have to take the walking wounded into this game against Real Madrid, that if we are going to be in with a chance of winning La Liga this year, this next one is must win. Well, after some nice little rest, Ryback has recovered-ish. Still only 87% match fitness, but that'll do. Gould also a little bit fitter than he was for the Chelsea game. So the only change is Garcia comes in on the left wing, Corkmaz goes up front, Perez dropping down to the bench as we go and take on Real Madrid. If we lose this one as well, um, which is also away from home, then we might have to rethink the whole not using the 4-3-3 anymore. But for now, we, we, we're going for it. Recent form standings has Real Madrid 7th, us 1st. Yes, let's show them why. Come on, let's go for this. We need a win today. A win puts us right back in the title race. A defeat. And it does leave us with an awful lot to do. We, are, we will still have two games in hand on Real Madrid. But if we lose... Oh, Kev's got to do maths. If we lose... We'll be like seven points behind them. So it's still not over if we lose. But if we win, it's on, boys and girls. I thought we'd won a penalty there, but actually Lorenzo was just offside. A penalty would have... would have I would have pro approved more of a penalty. Um, looking at the Real Madrid team, they still don't play Rodriguez, the right back they stole from us two years ago. He came through our youth team, played for us for one year and now just sits on their bench. If he wants to come back at any point, I mean, Gravosti's getting old and Juventus want him. So if Juventus want to give us 60 or 70 million for Gravosti and Real Madrid will just let us swap and uh, Rodriguez for, back for 30, the 30 million they paid for him, that's some business I can get on board with for the summer. Garcia has had a couple of dangerous free kicks already, uh, but have we won a penalty this time? Play suddenly stop. Apparently, we're not winning penalties today. Gould has now picked up another knock. Um, it's a tight groin this time, so it's not the same injury that affected him last weekend, but he does need to stop getting injured. Ramos shoots from the edge of the area, but it gives Real Madrid the chance to break, and this is their first real attack of the game, coming in the 40th minute, and this would be against the run of play, and that's disgusting. This is secret cheat in Real Madrid goals now. Oh, we're going over to the little telly. No. Oh, it was disallowed. Hurrah! Good old little telly. Marvellous stuff. And we go in at half-time. I think nil-nil is fair. We've had the better of the chances. We've had more possession. It's time for everyone to dig in and give it everything you've got left tonight. I think it is. We've got to take a stand at some point this season. The Champions League is looking iffy with us being 1-0 down in that first leg. So we have to fully commit to winning La Liga again. If we can win the league two years in a row, that leaves the pain of not winning the Champions League if that's how the season ends up turning out. Uh, Lorenzo with the free kick this time causes danger, but it really the only attacks... I've said we've had the better of the attacks. It's really just from set pieces. We haven't really created anything at all from open play. Let's get creative. Let's try and create something from open play. Madrid coming at us again, and that was a wild attempt at a tackle from Anan. And he doesn't get there. And Real Madrid do go 1-0 up. And I would still maintain 1-0 up against the run of play. But they've hit us on the counter-attack. What are we going to do? Look at this wild tackle that comes in here. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
he's quite lucky not to not to have connected with the player properly there. But now we really do need to we need to come up with a plan. Losing both games in this episode was not on the agenda. Gravosti's now picked up an injury as well. It's all going wrong. Too many games, too close together, is becoming a real problem. Perez is coming on for court, Maz. I think we probably have to take off the injured players, although we don't have anyone who can come on for Gould or Gravosti. So we're not going to take off the injured players at all. We're going to take we're going to make changes to try and win the game. Let's get Abraham and Perez up front together and see if changing things up up front. There you go. We'll do a pressing forward and an advance forward. We're going to properly go for it. Let's show some passion. Let's go attack him and actually try and... We've got to try and win this game, or at least not lose it at this point. Atz finds Garcia. Cannons off the frame of the goal. Garcia has had a number of chances. Though. Remember, Garcia single-handedly destroyed Real Madrid last season and basically won us the league by doing it. Um, but today, it's been a story of Garcia going close but not quite getting there and I think he is going to be the final change get Ruiz on on that left hand side and Moreno I wouldn't be surprised if Tony Moreno turned up in my office after this match to have a little chat about tactics in away games because big away games maybe we do still need to use the 4-3-3 and play Moreno ahead of Lorenzo and be a little bit more defensively solid although in both of these games, they've both been tight games. I don't think either game has been an example of us being too gung-ho and being torn apart because of it. The real story is we've played an attacking system in both of these games and not scored a goal in either of them. So perhaps perhaps it's just, we're not good enough. Push forward, we'll try that now. But this, this game is gone. The league title is, is pretty much gone at this point. Oh, look at that gap. That's a horrible gap now. We've basically got to win every game for the rest of the season and hope Real Madrid slip up at this point, which we know they don't do. So the league is done. Oh. And the Champions League is looking hard as well. This could be a total flop of a season. And the big games keep on coming because tomorrow we're back with Real Betis and the second leg of Chelsea. So big local derby. And the second leg of the Chelsea game. And really, by this time tomorrow, the season could be over. Which is depressing. Of course, we've got the Copa del Rey. That'll make it all alright. Um, if, if we get knocked out of the Champions League tomorrow, I want to forfeit the Copa del Rey. Because that nonsense has ruined our season. Having to go into these two games, playing catch-up with these two games. Not happy at all. Stupid competition. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.